Heart disease is the number one cause of death in the United States. Each year, more than 400,000 people are treated out of hospital by EMS in the U.S. for sudden cardiac arrest, SCA. Sadly, most people die from SCA because Excellent. they do not receive medical attention in time. Currently, survival is less than 10%, but survival can be as high as 90% if treatment is initiated within the first few minutes. A healthy diet and lifestyle are your best weapons to fight cardiovascular disease, so control cholesterol and blood pressure. Stay active and exercise. Eat nutritious and healthy foods. Maintain a healthy weight. Stop smoking. Reduce stress. Manage diabetes. Some risk factors that contribute to heart disease are obesity, smoking, high blood pressure, diabetes, genetics, sedentary non-active lifestyle, recreational drug use. Heart attacks occur when the blood flow that brings oxygen to the heart is severely reduced. This happens because the coronary arteries are narrowed through a buildup of fat and other substances which can create a blood clot, blocking the flow of blood through the heart. This can damage or destroy a part of the heart muscle. If enough of the muscle is damaged, SCA sudden cardiac arrest can occur. Often people, especially women, ignore the symptoms of a heart attack, mistaking them for indigestion or the flu. Symptoms do vary, but may include uncomfortable pressure, squeezing, fullness or pain in the center of your chest that lasts more than a few minutes or goes away and comes back pain or discomfort in one or both arms, the back, neck, jaw, or stomach, shortness of breath with or without chest discomfort, breaking out in a cold sweat, nausea, or lightheadedness. If you suspect someone is having a heart attack, call 911 rather than transporting them yourself. While waiting for EMS to arrive, encourage the person to take aspirin if there are no contraindications. The chain of survival is a set of steps established by the American Heart Association to facilitate the greatest chance of survival. The first three steps in the chain of survival are the responsibility of you, the bystander. Number one, call 911. Two, start CPR. Three, use an AED. The last two steps in the chain of survival require advanced medical care, so it is important to call 911 as quickly as possible. Always verify scene safety. Remember, the strongest link in the chain of survival is you, so it is imperative to make sure the scene is safe before approaching the person. You cannot help a victim if you become a victim yourself. When rendering care, think first aid. First, verify scene safety. A. Activate 911. Have someone call 911. If possible, leave the phone next to the victim with the speaker on and answer all the dispatcher's questions. If you are alone, call 911 yourself and get the Automated External Defibrillator AED, if it is nearby. Return quickly to the victim. I. Inform the person you are trained and ask if you can help. If they are unconscious, assume consent. D. Don personal protection equipment. Assume that all bodily fluids are infectious and use protection. When rendering care, think first aid. The immediate cause of most SCA is an abnormal heart rhythm. Whether or not the victim survives depends upon the immediate intervention of bystanders. If bystanders did nothing while waiting for EMS, the victim's chance of survival would be slim to none. Saving that person's life comes down to whether or not the rescuer knows how to administer CPR and how to use an automated external defibrillator, AED. This is why prompt action by bystanders is so critical and why it is important for laypersons to learn CPR and how to use an AED. Do not be afraid to act for legal reasons. 
The Good Samaritan Law is a legal doctrine that prevents a rescuer who has voluntarily helped a victim in distress from being successfully sued for wrongdoing.